After a long wait, it's time to update you on the solar powered work truck series. A year ago, I started a series on a project to turn my work truck into a solar powered mobile workstation. The first installment was mostly just me talking and introducing the project, but I did install some bed rails and take precise measurements. So today we'll catch up on the actual work being done and skip the small talk. If you aren't familiar with the purpose of the project, then go watch the previous video first. To mount the solar panels over the bed of the truck between the bed rails, I needed to find a way to attach a mounting system to the bed rails. So I figured out the outer diameter of the rails and did some shopping and found these tube clamps from House Tuning. These two-piece clamps go around the bed rail and have a tab with a large diameter hole extending from the side on the top. With two of the clamps installed on opposite sides, I could then take a final measurement before searching for some solar panels that would fit in between. Unfortunately, the length between the tabs ended up being kind of in between sizes, but I found these 190 watt panels from HQST that I reviewed a few months ago that will work with some help from some support bars. I was hoping to be able to mount the panels directly to the clamps, but this actually might be better as support bars will give more mounting flexibility and stability. These aluminum angle bars will be easy to work with and won't rust in the rain either. So I cut them to length and then temporarily mounted them between the clamps so I could mark where I needed to drill some holes. I faced the angle of the bar so that the solar panel is supported on the bottom and then attached on the sides. After marking where the holes should be, I drilled holes on each side of the angle bars and grabbed some temporary nuts and bolts to test fit the bars to the clamps. I ran to the hardware store off camera to grab some bolts that were a better length for the permanent installation. Then I grabbed a solar panel to see how the bars worked. I was worried I might need some additional bracing from some cross braces between the other two longer bars. But with the solar panel mocked up in its final position, I think it looks good as it is. I did leave a few inches on either side to install some cross braces in the future if I feel like it needs it. My plan is to finish permanently installing the first solar panel and then drive the truck around for a few months with just one solar panel to make sure the concept is secure and stable. With the solar panels above the bed, basically where a tonneau cover would be, I don't think they'll be getting a lot of lift from the wind, but being mounted on a work truck will subject the panels to some vibrations and other abuse, so I want to thoroughly test this before I commit to the other panel and the rest of the electronics. I used 10 sheet metal screws to attach the solar panel to the angle bars and the whole setup is now rock solid. I can barely move it with my hands. Over the next several weeks I'll check on it to make sure the nuts and bolts are still tight and that the panel's not being damaged in some way. After testing this out for a while, the next steps for future videos will be to find a suitable weatherproof box for the battery and electronics. This toolbox is obviously way too small, but illustrates where the box will be. This is complicated because I can't install a normal truck box since I have bed rails, and the jumbo sized job boxes will interfere with the real estate in the bed and are expensive and too big anyway. If anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. Worst case, I can build something out of wood which will allow me to make it exactly the right size and it's a lot easier to work with than metal for fabrication but wood won't last as long in the sun and rain obviously, and won't look as good. Here you can see the components that I already have for the rest of the project. I'll talk about them more in the next video, but the charger you see on the left from Red Arc will let me charge the battery from the sun and from the truck's alternator. And this jumbo sized lithium battery from Sun Fun Kits will provide a ton of energy storage for almost anything I'll ever need to do on a remote job site. That wraps up this second installment. Stay tuned to the next several months for the next video. And please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching.